Hello, creative friends. How's it going? What is that noise? Welcome to my studio. Today is the first day of April. I did this yellow wall. What do you think? Um, if you can follow my videos, I complain all the time about my art studio because I feel like it's constantly out of control, but also I have been very slow to decorate it. So I've been painting walls. Yesterday I painted my bedroom pink, which is very cute, but I'm doing my office slash studio in yellow. How do we feel about it? I also got these beautiful tulips and my mushroom lamp is behind me. Anyways, I have been painting a lot. Um, I've been pretty much exclusively painting. I haven't done much digital art at all. And I just blow dried my hair so it's very fluffy. So, okay. I wanted to show you just some paintings I've been doing as like an art update, style progression update. Last time I did a here's what I've made recently video, it was all digital illustration, which I loved because I was just in that vibe. But now we're getting closer to spring and I'm going full on paints both on the walls and canvases apparently. And I think I'm actually getting somewhere. So like I've been doing digital art for many years and I love it, I still love it. I still have plans to do more of it, but I really struggled with seeing myself as a painter because I was like, I'm not that great at painting or I'm good at doing like little paintings, but like not on canvases. I wanted to prove myself wrong. I wanted to gain some skills. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you what I've made in the order in which I painted them. So you can see my sort of progression and my thought process. The reason I wanted to do a lot of paintings is because I'm doing an art market in Prince Edward Island in two weeks. Yeah, about two weeks from now. And I'm gonna be selling a lot of these paintings. Um, almost all of them that I'm gonna show you are gonna be for sale. And when I finish at that market, I don't really know how well they're going to sell in person, to be honest. I have like medium expectations um, because I usually sell just way more prints than originals and that's fine. I'm gonna have my prints there too, but uh, I'm gonna put a lot of these up in my online store when I'm done, if they're still here. So if you see something you like, maybe it'll be there. Uh, I think it's going to be the 15th of April. I'm gonna do a store update, but you can follow my Instagram for information on that. If you care, let's talk about paintings. I'm gonna film some B-roll so I can show you these a little more close up after the fact. Yeah, these got dusty. They were laying on my floor. Actually, this is not what I did first. The first thing that I painted in the sequence, I don't even know what to do with my hair in this. Let's put it back here. Okay. Good. So the first thing that I actually did in this whole sequence was this big one, which is this piece right here. I'm just gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna have to film <laughs> extra to show you it in its entirety. This is a really big canvas that I had planned to do something else with that I didn't like. So um, I did this sort of splotchy abstract landscape with some pastel colors. And the Part of this that really transitioned over to my other work lately has been sort of the soft color palette as well as landscapes. A lot of what I'm gonna show you is landscapes. So I think this was a good starting point. I'm not sure how I feel about it now, but I've had it up on my wall and maybe I should put it on one of my pink walls. I don't like it better. But yeah, this is giant. I don't even know the measurements of it. It's on a, it's on a canvas. Um, so that was the first thing I've made lately, but it kind of was the thing that got me started on this whole like, painting kick. Next, I moved on to hardboards. So here's three hardboard paintings I did. Um, I really like painting on these, but I find they're kind of difficult to consider selling because they really need to be framed or something. Like they're not, they don't feel finished to just sell someone this like board. I don't know, maybe I'm completely wrong. Anyways, the order in which I painted these was this one was first. I really, really like this one too. I think it's, got really great brushwork. I'm really interested and happy with how I did the brushwork. The land, the foreground, the, the yellow part on the bottom is very simple. Um, I feel like I could learn more about that, but I'm very happy with the clouds. I'm working on a pink ground on almost all of these paintings. I'll tell you if I'm not. And I'm really loving that because that comes through in the clouds and mostly I'm focused on skies, I guess that's gonna be obvious. So this was number one. Then I did this as number two, uh, which I really like the sky in this one, but I got carried away with the foreground and I did all those little flowers and shrubs, which I think I probably will paint over or I just won't bother with this picture again. These two, um, but I, again, I'm getting somewhere with the skies and the colors in it. You probably can't see, I'm gonna have to do a close up, but this guy has a lot of pink and yellow in it, which, uh, and blue as well, which I just feel like translates really beautifully up close. These are paintings that I'm having trouble photographing because I'm not sure how to light them 
or edit the photos in a way that shows the true colors because they're very subtle when it's like the pastel. And then the most recent one on hardboard that I did was this one, which is a bit different in that I tried to paint a storm. So I think again, in person, up close, it's much more impactful because further off, it's kind of nothing. And I probably shouldn't have done the ground and the clouds the same color because it maybe reads too confusing. But technical wise, very happy with what's going on here. I got this little road winding around. I'm very happy with the shade, shades of colors and the tones used here. The transitional tone for the distance, a little bit of trees in the distance. Um, I also like how the downpour of rain is here, but maybe I made it a little bit too dark. Um, the clouds, again, I like my brushwork a lot, but I think they're too perfect. I think they're too, there's just like four big lumps, um, which is how I'm reading it and I'm not loving that. I also think that I would prefer if the blue sky was a little lighter. These are just my critiques. These early pieces that I'm showing you early in the video are like, these ones are not gonna be for sale, but these ones are like learning pieces for me. So I have like critique of my own work. So after I did that, this was my next piece. Um, this is sky over ocean. So you can see it's just like a little bit of dark blue. Um, still working on my blues a lot. It's not my favorite color. So ironically, a lot of these have very blue forward, um, but lighter up to darker blue tones. This is painted on a wooden board, um, wooden canvas. Like it's a box. It's got, I paint the sides as well, which I really like doing the sides. This was a pink ground as well. And I'm very happy with this one. I feel like it's quite charming and small. Um, and the clouds again have lots of yellow, pink, blue, and white in them. So a lot of dimension. And I think the structure of the cloud cells are really quite pretty in this one. So starting to get somewhere I'm very happy with. After that, I took kind of an intermission to do a bunch of like figurative work. So I'm just gonna show you, what order did I do these in? I did these lemons first. So I did a set of two lemons. These are on wooden, wooden canvases as well. I just like these because I could picture them in someone's kitchen. This is just stuff I'm gonna to bring to sell at the art show. Um, just kind of simpler pieces. I'm trying to also make work at different price points as well. I don't want it to just be like big, like masterpieces. Not that I would call any of this masterpieces necessarily, but I wanted to have like a diversity of work that like, I find these so charming and if they don't sell, I'd be very happy to put them up in my apartment, no problem. Um, I did this kind of, I don't, I'm not sure what color to call this background. It's like a blue green, but it's very subtle. It's one of my favorite colors that I have in my paints right now. And I think the lemons are very textured and pretty. I did the sides with yellow dots on it. And I asked on Instagram if people thought I should turn them into flowers. So, and they said, yes. So I think I'm gonna do white petals along all the dots before I finish these and uh, varnish them. So happy with the fruits. After that, I was like in this really cute mood. Like, I just wanna make really cute stuff because that's sort of like, how I'm decorating my house right now. So I did this goose. Um, I don't think this is finished. I'm not sure what else I wanna do with it yet. <laughs> it's so cute. I think my intention was to paint over the white with like different dimensional colors to make it look more like feathers. But the more I just leave it, the more I'm like, maybe this is fine. Maybe this is perfect, <laughs> just how it is. The really adorable part of this is the sides because I did this ribbon that weaves along all of the sides of this wooden canvas, which is, I don't know, there's just so much potential, I feel like working on these wood panels, wood canvases for additional decoration. I think this is so cute. So TBD whether she's done or not, but I love this a lot. Very happy with it. Same day I painted the this bunny because um, it was getting to be springtime. I love the daisies. I'm not sold on the expression on the bunny's face yet. I think I might paint over it or at the very least fix the mouth because I think it kind of looks like a mustache and I want it to be extra cute. So just like imagine without the little face. Um, yeah, and I think the daisies turned out really, really pretty. Um, and I just kind of wanted this splotchy green background. I don't know, it's kind of charming, right? I, I'm looking at it in the viewfinder, so I keep looking over, but I'm seeing it reflected. I really like this one. Um, but I haven't done anything on the sides yet. Um, not Maybe not 100% done. And this is slightly out of order, but it's sort of in the same category. I did these carrots. Um, I did a yellow ground and I was really nervous putting this like 
dark yellow ochre color um, over top, but I think I kind of like it. There, I think, it, yeah, I think this is the way I was gonna put the hanger on it to be up. I don't know. I just really liked it. My mom's painting her kitchen a kind of a color like this, I think, or the cabinets. So it seems kitcheny to me. Maybe some still some work in progress, but I like that I left the edges that yellow. Do you think that's interesting? Like yellow edges, dark yellow here, carrots. I left a lot of brush strokes in this as well. So it's not super, I don't know, it's more folksy. I like that a lot. So that was kind of it for like the different styles. Then we get into my kind of four pieces, which I think are like, I'm really onto something with these. So I'm excited to show you these ones. So the first one I did is this piece here. This is on a big wooden, pa uh, wooden panel. It is a kind of progression of my sky studies. Um, I'm very happy with how they turned out. Although I'm looking at it from the side and I definitely must have used a different white for some of the highlights because it's standing out when I shine the light on it. Anyways, I haven't varnished any of these so they're gonna kind of be a little bit more shiny when they're done. Uh, I don't normally add people in. So adding this little person was really felt like a big risk, <laughs> which um, was, was kind of funny because I think it was very pretty without them, but um, I just wanted to try and do something a little different. So. I'm happy with this. I think it's quite pretty. I did the sides as well, so that all the sides are painted. Um, and it's just kind of got that whimsical childhood summer feeling is what I'm thinking when I see it. So I, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Um, I like what the sky is doing as well. There's like a bit of like gray blue light wash to a darker. Um, yeah, so this one, I'm happy with that. Then I did two together. These two don't actually go side by side because they're not a continuous landscape, but they are so similar that I consider them like kind of the same um, series. So here they are. I'll just show you them one at a time. So this one, the background, the ground I used for these was a much more intense pink, like more of a, a, a not a hot pink, but like a, a really bright pink anyways, like a bubble gum. So you can see that more in the clouds. Very happy with the sky in this one specifically because I did a lot of purple in the bottom part that kind of bleeds up. It's very subtle, but you could see it really well in person. And I added a small strip of land right here because I felt like it grounded the scene. I didn't want to just do the ocean. I find that I'm not great at oceans yet and it can kind of look a little amateurish. So I'm happy that I did a darker gradient over here and it kind of moves the water a little bit more. So happy with that one. And then this one was sort of its pair, but like a different scene. Sorry, I've got so many canvases here. Uh, and I'm very happy with this. This one makes me feel really excited when I look at it, which is kind of cool for your own work. <laughs> um, so it's cliffs, obviously, but I'm very happy with what I did with the cliffs in terms of staying within my color palette and um, achieving dimensionality with simplicity. That was really hard for me to figure out. So. Um, the blue and green of the cliffs is just the same color blue as the ocean and the color green of the grass on top. But I mixed it and, and I feel like that made it very harmonious. Um, I'm also happy with the clouds in this one and the sky. I think it, it turned out well. And I did paint the sides of the canvases, um, of this canvas as well. Even though this one maybe would prefer to be framed. I don't know. But uh, I'm really, this is one I'm, I'm really quite excited about. I only have two left. I still feel like this was a lot of paintings. That's one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen 15 paintings total I'm showing you in this video. So maybe I feel like it's not that many, but it actually is. Okay, so these two are my most recent. And, I'm, and like I said, I'm showing you all these in order of when I painted them so you can see my progress. This one, um, I posted on my Instagram, so you may have seen it if you follow me there. And it's got, a, it's just another cliff scene but I wanted to do a red cliff because the show I'm doing is in PEI and they have red sand. So I thought red would be good, maybe more appealing to local audiences. But additionally, I just really liked it. I was very, I think it's a Venetian red is the paint I used for this one, but I mixed it with white to kind of soften it. And I think it worked well getting it into my pastel color palette while still being a dirt color. I was very skeptical that that was going to work. Um, things I really like about this, I really like how the clouds turn out in this one. It's very different conceptually. Like if you look at the progress from like these clouds to these clouds, like they're quite different, but they're both, they both feel really true to my style and they both like, I don't know, really make me happy. 
This one is more like marshmallow fantasy clouds, and these ones are more like abstract um, marshmallow clouds. <laughs> I don't know. I think up close, this one is really stunning. Um, and I did put some close-up photos, but I'll, I'll film some close-up for this video as well. So really happy with this one. Again, like the sides wrap around. And then the last one is this one here, which I'm, I, I, I keep saying this, but I'm very excited about this one as well. So this is a landscape that is the Annapolis Valley in Nova Scotia where I live. And I've lived in the Annapolis Valley many times. It has lots of agricultural features with like waterways and dikes. This is what this is. It's like a, is it Dutch? I'm not sure, like a feature for agriculture where they make these channels with water. Anyways, they have like the tide comes in and, and this is like, is it fresh water? I don't know anything about it apparently, but I know what it looks like and it looks like this. And I'm very happy with how I was able to make distinct colors within with that Venetian red um, that looks like brown because when I had the reference photo for this, these three sections, like the two banks and the water, were all basically the same color and it was very difficult to figure out how to translate that into paint and I'm very happy with my result. I also did uh, some, some nice blue in the distance for um, the mountains in the distance. I was thinking a lot about Turner's use of color for distance in a documentary I watched where he talked, or not he talked about, someone else talked about how he used lavender and like shades of blue to show hills and things in the distance. And those like blue tones help to indicate distance without making it faded. It was about using color. I've talked about this in other videos. It's about using color to indicate depth rather than opacity or translucency, if that makes sense. So, Therefore, this dark blue stripe uh, does, I think, translate well as distant mountains instead of like ocean, which you'd normally think of as blue. Yeah, also uh, I did some, some lower sky here and a lot of my other pictures you'll see like this one, the clouds go right to the horizon line, um, which is fine, I like that. And I think that looks true to scenes I've seen because I live by the ocean, so I see clouds over it all the time. Um, but here I wanted to do something because this is a bit more inland to show the sky below the clouds as well. I really think this one is, um, I, I, I'm very proud of this because I think with all these pieces I've shown you, the other 14 pieces, aside from maybe like the carrots and the bunnies, <laughs> although they were still important to like get uh, familiarity with the medium. I think this one shows the best representation of my progress and I'm excited to see what I do next. I have several canvases prepped that I will work on this week. Um, they don't take super long to make, but they do take a long time to conceptualize. Like this was probably a three hour painting, which is not very long in my opinion, but it really came together nicely. And obviously I couldn't have done this in three hours if I hadn't done all those other 14 in <laughs> however many, many hours they took. So it's it, I, I do feel like I am refining my skills. Um, and oh yeah, I did wrap around this one as well. Of course, there's the wrap and there's just cloud. There's, there's no clouds up there. <laughs> I like doing the sides and I like these um, wooden things as well. So I'm going to attach, I think the sawtooth um, hangers on the back, um, or I could do like two and put a string. I haven't really decided how I'm going to mount them yet. Um, and I'm also going to put some like, I like what I like about the wood is like I can mod podge like a piece of paper in here with information. So I'm not just, um, God, I'm really sorry if the whole time I've been making this video, if it's staring at the viewfinder, it's because I'm gesturing and I don't know what I'm holding up. <laughs> Anyways, I will put some, some like about this piece in the back of this one. And this one I'm going to take to the market. Maybe I'll sell it. Maybe this will be in somebody's home. So that's really exciting. Oh, I'm going to take high res pictures of all of these before I sell them though, um, because I do want to do some prints even for that show I'm doing. I think I'm going to bring a couple prints of some of these, maybe some ones I haven't even done yet um, that I really like so far. So that's what I'm thinking. I hope that was interesting to you. Other stuff I've been making lately, like I've been painting my apartment. Um, I've been making jewelry. I made this necklace that I'm wearing. Wait. It has like a little heart charm. It's got pearls and crystals on it. I've been making a fair bit of jewelry. 
I was just traveling actually, I was in Toronto. I went to a beading supply store in the garment district and I bought a bunch of stuff that I can't normally get here, including a ton of 18 karat plated gold fixings. Wait, fix, is that what they're called? Uh, I'm blanking, I know this word, but little clasps and stuff because I do have a lot of jewelry making stuff that I want to pull together that I might bring to this show. I'm not sure. I always get a little nervous when I've applied to a show with something like paintings and I'm like, oh, I also have this other unrelated product, but it matches my brand vibe. Generally st shows don't seem to mind too much if I have a little something extra on the table, but I don't want to be disrespectful of their policies. So maybe I'll ask them. I was already bringing pins though, clay pins. So maybe that's okay. It's just kind of in the realm of pins and jewelry. Anyways, uh, that's all I have to show you. I hope you liked it. Let me know which one was your favorite and tell me if you've been working on anything cool. Uh, if you want to see more of my work, I post a lot of in progress paintings on Instagram. I'm not really good at doing reels yet of my paintings because to be honest, where I do this painting, even though I have this beautifully well lit studio that we're in right now, um, I'm mostly doing it on the couch in my living room at night <laughs> watching TV and I have like a lap desk and I just put, I'm just working off that. So um, that's mostly where I do my painting, which is not very film, film friendly. Anyways, next time I make an art collection update or like show you what I've made, hopefully I'll have some digital stuff to show. Um, I just did so much of it over the last like couple of months that it's really nice to pivot hard, do some paintings and just try something else. Oh, I am running a new Instagram account called Snoop a Day because I often draw Snoopy as a warm up for my art. Like I'll do it on my iPad and I'll just like to get me in the creative zone. And I realized I had so many that I'm just gonna start posting them. So I've got like a bunch up there. If you like Snoopy and just like cute little doodles, um, check out my Snoop a Day account. Uh, it's, it's cute. <laughs> oh, and I am gonna do something. If you've made it this far, then you don't mind me rambling. I'm gonna do something a little bit bigger soon, which is that I'm gonna paint over my bug painting. Let me show you the canvas, it's just sitting over here. This is my bug painting. It's really big. Um, this has been hanging in my living room for maybe a year and a half or two years. And it's it's kind of shiny actually. It is varnished. Um, it's a huge canvas and I'm going to paint over it. And when I say that, I have some people in my life who were like, no, don't, don't paint over it, I love it. I'm like, well, do you wanna buy it? Because if you don't, no one else is wanting to buy it. So I'm gonna paint over it. Um, yeah, so I'm just giving you a heads up that if you have been watching my videos and are a fan of this big bug painting, which I am, I think it's cool. Like I said, I'll take some high-res pictures of it before it goes, but I'm going to paint over it and I'm going to do a landscape on it because this is such a big, beautiful square canvas that I feel like it deserves something I actually like on it. Okay, so that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this fun and interesting. I am gonna paint more of my office yellow. Right now the wall behind me is the only one, but tell me what you think, do you like the yellow? Cause I think it's so cheerful with my flowers, which obviously won't be there forever, but they're there right now. I'm kind of procrastinating cause my jobs today were film this video and then also clean my studio. And you know how I feel about that. I love you. thank you for watching. Have a great day. Do something creative if you can. And um, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Bye.